Okay, let's do this real quick. I got to run, got to run, got to run. Oof. Hey. Drink water. Uh, look, real quick, just gotta talk about Julian Assange for a second. Look, messages, messages, whatever, whatever. I, my, my circle of people explain this. Julian Assange is actually an anarchist. Don't worry about that. But I think people have a problem with anarchists and whatever, whatever, whatever. But before, even as he's an anarchist, he's many things, he's also a publisher. Okay? Now, uh, the uh, government, you know, they uh, want to label him something else, a hacker. You know, hacker is like supposed to be a bad thing, you know? Uh, to think of it this way. When they, in the wire, in the wire, you know, when they wanted to get Stringer Bell, right, and they couldn't get him on anything, and to, and then uh, what's the uh, the captain, the captain, whatever it is, you know, the, the bald headed guy, you know, what's his Reddick, whatever, the, the, the guy from Fringe and all the rest of that stuff, and from from John Wick, you, you know, I'm talking about the guy. Anyway, he he has this, I think it was him, or maybe it was um, Minolte, I don't know, one of those people, and they say, hey, you owe us, you know, and you got, you know, talking about the FBI guy or whoever he was. The Homeland Security guy, whoever it was, and he says he's now nah, we can't help you with the, the drug thing is, is off the thing now with uh, things that. Are. Anyway, so he solved the problem by saying that well, how'd you you know when he finally they got the warrant or whatever for for Stringer Bell, I said well how'd you do this? Says, well you know Stringer Bell, his name is and then they named uh, you know uh, an Arabic name. So see the government can do anything. They label you what they want to, then they do what they want to do. This is just a second for the ADOS. This is why you have to have to you have to go after the government because if you don't go after the government, they'll go after you. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, forget that part. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. How should I do this? Okay, look, you can take. A, there are pledges, there are vows, and there are oaths. An oath is something different than a a, a vow. You can break a vow. We all do it all the time. You know, I've done it, right? A pledge, you can break a pledge. Uh, well, a pledge is something else. Yeah, you you can break a pledge. You know, how many people really, you pledge allegiance to the flag? How do you, put it? Oh, forget it. Okay, but an oath, you don't break an oath. It's not allowed, okay? Now, I've only taken two oaths in my life. And and from my, yeah, and I've never broken those, those two oaths, okay? The two oaths I've taken, they came actually, one right behind the other. I can tell you exactly what it was. It was January of 1970, right? The two oaths I've I've taken. One oath I had to take when I when I when I uh, in, 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 um, you know enlisted whatever how you want to say into the, when I went into the Air Force. Take an oath to the, you know protect all protect everybody from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Blah 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 blah. I suppose politicians are supposed to say this, take the same oath, right? And I suppose all the agencies, you know, because man, the, the Air Force is an agency. So one of the, everybody has to take that same oath. You protect the country from all our enemies, domestic as well as foreign, or foreign as well as domestic. Okay, hold on to that. The second oath I take is that when I was in the Air Force, because I was a medic. I had to, you had to take the Hippocratic oath, you know, the the the, the hippo, you know, the, the the white guy, the, the the white guy oath that they that they got from the African guy, the, 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 okay, it doesn't matter. And that oath basically says you can't, you, you got to heal people, you can't do no harm. So all, all so 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 it's kind of interesting to me when all this whole thing, when the, this whole uh, everything that comes out about the military, yeah, as, as far as I'm talking about this Iraq thing, you know, under under obviously. Dick Cheney never took an oath. <laughs> I don't know what they did when they made him whatever vice president or whatever have you, because they violate and, and the lawyers they all violate the oath. Because when you recruited a psychologist, were those people they recruited to do to do the torture, whatever have you, they you recruited a doctor, they those doctor broke an oath. For you as as a military person, for you to bend anything, you broke an oath. Okay? It's as simple as that. Chelsea Manning, whatever is the, the the Bradley, whatever his, Chelsea Manning, the soldier, or, or, or Bradley Manning, the soldier, right, took an oath, and 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 and, and no matter what you think of, of of Manning, Manning, what Manning did was the proper thing. He saw something that the military was doing, that was against the oath that he took, and he exposed them. Instead of them coming after the the the, the person that upheld the oath. 
they went after, they, they, and they constantly do this. They go after people who whistleblow. All those people, they're upholding an oath. So this country has, de this country has definitely got to be fixed. And you can't fix it with people who violate their oaths. I mean, at this particular point, you know, there's, there's all these politicians. Only one politician I know of spoke up for 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 Julian Assange, right? And that that that, that Tulsi Gabbard. Why? Because she was in, she was a medic as well as a military person. She took two oaths. All these other people, politicians, they're politicians. They don't. They, I don't know what they. I, I don't know what kind of oaths the politicians take. But I'm surely. I mean, you know, look. Bernie, forget it. Okay, you a politician. If you can't, if you can't take the high, if you can't, all them politicians. You know, at this particular point, you know, my my ticket. Tell you again, my ticket is for. Now let me tell you my ticket. I'm just going to say. So the only only person I see right now who's come above the fray is Tulsi Gap without hesitation, right away. No thinking about it. No da 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 da. da. Ask answered. Ask answered. Ask answered. And so when these people. You know, when you see these people, they violate their oaths. All these military people violate your oath. Let me drink some water. You just remember that when you start voting for people, you're going to vote for principal people or you're going to vote for a politician? Principal people or a politician? That's it from me, T from the past. Taking the drinks to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a death of the ADOS.